What's happening guys? Today we're going to be talking about the best 10 cities for young people as well as new college grads to live in. So it's getting more and more ridiculous, the requirements for different jobs. You know, it's that old problem where you have to have two years of experience in order to get an entry level job. But in order to get an entry level job, you need two years of experience. So how the heck are you going to get experience when it's an entry level job? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And on top of that, the cost of living just keeps going up every single year it costs more to live it costs more to rent and so for young people it's just getting harder and harder it's getting to the point where it's absolutely ridiculous where many people end up being in debt until their mid 30s in many cases and then they finally reach a net worth of zero and it's basically like where you know our grandparents were starting off at a net worth of zero at 18 years old now the new 18 is 35. but with that being said there are certain cities that are much friendlier to young people and this of course is going to do with how much it costs to live as well as the unemployment rate in these different cities now the statistics I'm going to be showing you are based off of an article by Business Insider. I don't necessarily agree 100% with how they do it, but I'm going to be offering some commentary there. But with that being said, before we get into it, make sure to gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. <music> So at number 10 on the list, we have Indianapolis, Indiana. They have a very healthy population of young people at about 16.4%. And basically what this indicates is that for one, it seems to be a little more attractive to young people. A lot of the time, you know, people who are young are gonna want to have, you know, a pretty decent nightlife and a lot of things to do so that they can enjoy their 20s. And by the way, the population age is between 20 and 29. The median rent here is going to be about $680 a month, which isn't too bad at all. And the unemployment rate for bachelor degree holders is about 3.5%. So yeah, a lot of opportunity here for people who are in Indianapolis. There's also quite a bit to do there because it is a relatively large city. Now I've been to St. Louis, really fun town, lot to do there. They have a fantastic zoo there, maybe one of the best zoos I've ever been to. So if you're into that, definitely go and check out the zoo. But the unemployment rate for bachelor degree holders is 2.2%, very, very low. The median rent is $617 a month, not too bad at all, very manageable. And the population age 20 to 29 is about 17.9%. So there's a lot of young people, and therefore that means it attracts a lot of young people and there's a lot to do. The next one on the list is going to be Louisville, Kentucky. The population is about 617,000, but there's a lot of outlying communities and outlying cities just outside of Louisville proper. So it's really a lot more than that. So it's still a relatively large city and the unemployment rate for bachelor degree holders is only 2.4%, very, very low. The median rent is also going to be relatively low, about $638 a month, but it does have a little bit lower uh, in terms of a young person population, about 14 0.5%. So still very solid option, especially if you're somebody who lives in that part of the country, maybe you have family around there. And you'll notice that pretty much all of these on this list are cities that are very livable for young people who would like a relatively large city because it comes with a lot of things to do as well as a nightlife. But at the same time, it's relatively cheap. It's not gonna break the bank. You're not gonna be spending like $3,500 a month like you would be in San Francisco or maybe New York. <music> The next one on the list is going to be Omaha, Nebraska. They have a ridiculously low unemployment rate for people with a bachelor degree of 1.4%. The median rent is gonna be about $712, so a little bit higher than the other ones. And the population age 20 to 29 is 15.4%. So if you wanna live in the Midwest, you got family around there, something along those lines, Omaha might be a very solid option for you. If those other cities were a little bit too small for you, San Antonio is a bigger city, uh, 1.5 million in population, 
And then again, there's a lot of, you know, outlying cities that aren't technically a part of San Antonio proper. So the real uh, population is gonna be much higher than that. The unemployment rate for those with a bachelor degree is about 3.4%. The medium rent is gonna be a little bit higher, around $774 a month. And the population age 20 to 29 is going to be about 16.4%. Lots and lots of things to do in San Antonio. You can visit the Alamo. They've also got the Riverwalk, which is super underrated, very, very beautiful. Can be a great option for a young person. Moving on to a northern state, the next one on the list is going to be Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The unemployment rate for bachelor degree holders is about 3.3%. The median rate is gonna be a little lower this time, around $684 a month for rent. And the population aged 20 to 29 is a very good 18.2%. Again, lots to do there, a lot of great nightlife. They've got a great zoo as well. They've got a great art museum. They've got a great uh, Harley Davidson museum. Lots and lots of things to do there. Again, for the right person, if you like living in the northern states, that could be a great option. Another one in the northern states is going to be Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The unemployment rate here for bachelor degree holders is going to be about 2.4%, relatively low. The median rent is going to be about $750. And the population aged 20 to 29 is a ridiculous 23.5%. So lots of nightlife there, lots of things to do, and lots of opportunity for young people. The next one on the list is going to be a southern city. I have family around this city and they absolutely love it. That is going to be Nashville, Tennessee. The unemployment rate for bachelor degree holders here is gonna be 2.3%, very low. The median rent, I was a little surprised to see this, but uh, you can get cheaper rent if you live on the outskirts of the city, is going to be $841 a month. And the population age 20 to 29 is about 18.1%. Now Nashville has some of the best nightlife in the entire United States. Super, super fun hanging out there. It also has a huge music scene, especially if you're into uh, country music and rock and roll. So yeah, really, really great option for the right person, especially if you're somebody who wants to live in the South. Very fun city to visit and also a good one for you to live in, potentially. The next two on the list are going to be in the same state. And number two is going to be Cincinnati, Ohio. This one has the cheapest rent on the entire list, I believe, at $568 a month. The unemployment rate is gonna be about 3% for bachelor degree holders, not bad. And the population age 20 to 29 is 19.6%. So yeah, another Northern state there if you like living in that Northern climate. But number one on the list is in the same state and that is going to be Columbus, Ohio. So this one I believe has the lowest unemployment rate on the entire list at 1.5% for bachelor degree holders, ridiculously low. Pretty much guaranteed to find a job if you have a bachelor degree. The median rent is gonna be a little bit higher, $724 a month. Not bad when you compare that to a city like San Francisco where the median rent ranges from $2,500 to $3,000 per month. And the population age 20 to 29 is about 19.7%, which again is very, very good. So yeah, lots of young people, very attractive to them, very livable, doesn't cost too much. And at the same time, you're gonna have a lot of those big city things that young people tend to like. So hope this gave you a few ideas, a few options for you to look into. If you haven't done it already, go ahead, check out my other videos right here. Gently tap that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.